lesson 90. Good Nine morning. Through. Can you believe we're on lesson 90? Lesson 90? That's oh, just, that's, that's yeah. Yes. Seems, yeah, wow. Seems like yesterday we just started these. <laughs> For this review, we will use these ideas. 79. Let me recognize the problem so it can be solved. Let me realize today that the problem is always some form of grievance which I would cherish. Let me also understand that the solution is always a miracle with which I let the grievance be replaced. Today, I would remember the simplicity of salvation by reinforcing the lesson that there is one problem and one solution. The problem is a grievance. The solution is a miracle. Can we stop there, sis? Yes. The problem is a grievance. The solution is a miracle. Yes. Yeah. And but, you know, there's a deeper understanding too there which mm -hmm. is helpful is to remember if i'm if i'm triggered mm -hmm. if i got a, if i have a resentment at all mm -hmm. that must mean that i believe i'm separate yes from god and separate from my brothers and sisters yeah yes and that's where the grievance ca uh, came from is because i do believe i'm separate from god my brothers and my sisters yes yeah. Just a reminder. Yeah, because he said one problem, one solution. Your only problem is that you think you're separate. So now he's saying that problem is a grievance. So all grievances are symbols of the belief that we're separate. And then the solution is God's answer. And that's the miracle. That's what's really God's answer is right there behind the grievance. That's the solution, desiring to know the truth about it. Beautiful. Mm. Am I reading? Can can we talk about? <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm going off a bit here, but mm, mm, talk like give a practical example or two. Mm. Of this. Um, you got any? <laughs> I'm sure I have a library, but I can't think of one. Okay, right I, I, I will. I'll, I'll throw one in. It happened yesterday okay. or the day before on Facebook. Is a, a longtime teacher of A Course in Miracles, uh, a man um, who, who doesn't really agree with, the, with um, my... <sighs> I can't say interpretation because these are the deeper teachings of A Course in Miracles. These teachings are from Jesus. He does not he, he, he is, He's heavily into metaphor. He does believe that the course is metaphor. He, he, he says, you know, don't take the course uh, too literally. And I, I know from first-hand experience Yes. with jesus yes. that jesus is teaching us to take his teachings literally very uh, literal and unfortunately the spiritual ego uh it tends to want to take jesus teachings metaphorically right you know why <clears throat> why because people who have not demonstrated at the level of jesus instead of putting that um bar there they will lower the bar let's make what jesus was doing and did for himself and for a limited time only that's not really for us that's watering it down and that's placating a spiritual ego right. but jesus meant what he said he proved what he said and he told us specifically that we will do that and more and from a christian science background I have a lifetime of witnessing, participating, and receiving, and my sister here too, and countless of you out there also, literal 
physical healings, things that the laws say cannot be healed or it takes a certain amount of time. We've all experienced something miraculous that defies all the laws. We've placed ourselves under the laws of God and we've had the literal, um, the miracle shown to us. So I am here because I stand in response to that. There, do not be hopeless, be full of faith because these are laws and they don't waver. Thank you. That's great. That's very, very helpful. And uh, um, to finish my experience with this teacher of Course in Miracles, <laughs> uh, um, uh, you know, he, he made a comment on what I wrote. Uh, and <laughs> his comment basically was trying to tell me that I was wrong. Yeah. And so he he um i could feel his intent was to get into a debate i don't do debates because mm -hmm. only the ego does debates mm -hmm. right so if you got the gap diagram there sis yes save me some words thank you very very much mm -hmm. so the spiritual ego was in the center yes yeah discussing uh that you know the 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 Course in Miracles is, is metaphor. It's not yeah. literal. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. So, of oh, course, I could have got... Thank you. <laughs> I could have got triggered by that. But when I went within to Holy Self, Holy Spirit, and asked, well, how am I going to... Am I to respond or what? And the answer was, close the gap. Mm close the gap but before i could close the gap i had to release any slight trigger or grievance that i had with this other course of miracles teacher so i had to do that in my own yes. so here yeah and as i did so as i intended to will with god for a miracle by releasing my grievance what came in uh was a knowing call it Mm -hmm. psychic knowing mm -hmm. right that that this particular teacher was um suffering yeah okay so i i knew it was given to me i knew that i actually went to his page and i saw that that um he had just experienced or was in the throes of experiencing losing a loved one right mm. so you know my heart went out to him genuinely and i could feel a miracle i just could feel it and long story short i know we're taking up time here but time doesn't exist thank god long story short my intent to close the gap uh resulted in he he and i having a conversation on facebook where we really did close the gap and it was a miracle yeah. it was just so so beautiful we still don't agree with each other, but it doesn't matter if we don't agree. It's it's that miracle. And I really felt it. It was incredible. It was wonderful. And I know he did too. Thanks yeah. for feeling the call for love instead of going into a grievance and then responding to that call for love. That's it right there. That's the that's the practice in a demonstration. Thanks, sis. Thank you. Great. So am I reading? I don't even remember. <laughs> Am I reading? What the ego would call this dementia at my age, right? Um, okay, no, I think I'm reading. Okay. Are you reading? Yeah, pretty oh, sure. Okay. Okay, specific. Um, they would remember the simplicity. I of think you're up to line number five. Two, three, four. And I invite the solution to come to me through my forgiveness of the grievance and my welcome of the miracle to take its place. Okay. Specific applications of this idea might be in these forms. This presents a problem to me, which I would have resolved, which I would have, or I will to have resolved. The miracle behind this grievance will resolve it for me. The answer to this problem is the miracle which it conceals. I like that. That's yeah. always 
putting the answer and the problem in the same place. Yes. And then you get to decide what, what do you want, right? Yep. Yep. So the miracle behind this grievance will resolve it for me. Mm -hmm. But before I can claim it, <laughs> yeah. uh, the miracle, I have to be willing to um, abdicate or what's the word? Or give over grievance. my yeah. grievance, my resentment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and one brings you peace and happiness and the other one doesn't. And one yeah. is real and one is not, not much of a choice. Mm. Okay, 80, let me recognize my problems have been solved. Love it. I seem to have problems only because I am misusing time. I believe that the problems, the problem comes first and that time must elapse before the problem can be worked out. I do not see the problem and the answer as simultaneous in their occurrence. That is because I do not yet realize that God has placed the answer together with the problem so that they cannot be separated by time. The Holy Spirit will teach me this if I will let him. And I will understand it is impossible that I could have a problem which has not been solved already. Oh, feel into that. Yeah. I mean, really feel into that. Mm -hmm. Yes. At the same oh. moment that the, the suggestion of separation arose, God's answer was right there, inconceivable. There is no problem that has not already been solved because problems only arise in a mythical gap that does not exist. Mm. We're here, not here. Uh, these forms of the idea would be useful for specific applications. I need not wait for this to be resolved. Oh, hallelujah. The answer to this problem is already given me if I will accept it. Isn't that the way we do it? We'll use time to maintain our problems because we don't want to accept that the answer is already given. That's the ego right there. I want to work out my own salvation. I want to do things independently from God. I want to be the solution. I think, yeah, that's it. I want to be the solution. That's the ego right there, the false self, right? Yes. Um, you know, because as we awaken to these teachings, the, the ego is um, deeply insulted by the simplicity of, of these teachings, you know, deeply insulted. Because the only thing we really can do here, and this is what this lesson is about, let me recognize my problems have been solved, is to surrender our right. griefs, right? Yes. Accept his will's already being done, accept it. And the third one is to receive it, right? Yes. The problem and the answer are together. Yes. If I'm willing to give over the problem, then I can receive the miracle. It's all simultaneous yep thank you mm, so good okay um last line time cannot separate this problem from its solution so there's the idea that any problem takes time or healing takes time or that it's not already done yeah. let me recognize my problems have been solved thank you Beautiful. Thanks, sis. Thank Those you. 79 and 80. I like it. So wow. tomorrow is the we're going back to the full lessons. Yeah. We've ended the review, right? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that's the final uh, review lesson, guys. So back into lesson 91 next time. Those are some powerful ones. Miracles are seen in light. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Good. Thanks well, thank you. Me. Thanks everyone for joining us. And thank you for healing us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye sis. I love you too. Yeah. Love you too. <laughs> Bye.